Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we're going to be talking about is how to map a network drive in Windows. So for an example, when you have your server and you have your client, you can set up a manual and we'll do it both ways, but this is a main focus on automating that process to have group policy push it out yourself. So and you definitely need to have your server name and you have to have a share name. And I'm going to walk you through every step through the way to get this set up. So we have our share name and then through the server, we can deploy through to each and every one of our clients, our desktop, our laptop, etc. All right. So let's get into our infrastructure. All right. We're going to be using uh, Windows Server 2019. Let's just go ahead and control delete. Let's make this bigger so we can see what we're rocking with. So let me put my password as administrator. So now we're on this server, all right? So this is like you're starting from, definitely from starting from scratch. Let's go to our Fire Explorer. And in File Explorer, obviously in a real production environment, you maybe have a D drive or, an, you know, E drive, and whatever like your drive is for your data, right? For your data. So let's go ahead and go to C drive. And now in our C drive, we don't have any, any, any folders yet. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new folder. Uh, once it uh, prop, we're going to go to new and folder. And we're going, to make, we're going to name this, for example, IT share. Okay. So this is going to be for the IT people. All right. So we can go into IT share and we can create, we're going to create one document called, or one text file called doc one. Okay. And we can just say this is, whoops. I can start typing. This is doc one. Okay. And we can X out of here and save it. All right. So right now we can run a command in, we can do this a few ways. So the easiest way, in my opinion, we can go ahead and open up command prompt and let's make sure this opens up big enough that you guys can see. Let me just, oops, let's make this a little bigger so we can, it's a little laggy because I haven't rebooted this server in quite some time and it's a virtual machine. So it's probably gonna be a little laggy. It needs a reboot. I'll probably reboot it after this video. Um, definitely needs a reboot. All right, so once it goes here, let's go to like for example 28, it should be fine. All right, so that's a little bigger. So in the command line, we can run a, um, a command called net share. Okay, so this will show us the shares on this machine. Obviously you have your default shares, etc. We don't have any share for that IT folder as of yet. So let's go ahead and go here. We're going to right click on IT share. We're going to go to properties. And in properties, we're going to see a, a dialog box. We can go to sharing. Right now it says this, you know, it's not shared yet. So we can go to share. And like I said on the, I want to actually, I want to add, there's a group in my active directory that we have IT, we have groups right here, right? We have an IT group. And I believe it's myself and another user called Dion. Dion's in here. And we have me and my, me and Dion, okay? So instead of, you know, adding Dion, myself, whoever else is in the IT group, we can go ahead and add, find people. We're gonna go ahead and look for that specific group. We can go to IT and we do IT group, okay? Boom, hit okay. So what do we want the IT group to have? What, what, what permission level? We want only read, read, write, and I want to have read, write, okay? And I want to hit share. So now Dion and myself has, and remember when I put on this, I want to bring this document up really quick again so you can see. See so it says whack, whack, server name, whack, share name, okay? So in my case, let's go back to the server now. In my case, it's whack, whack, DC01, whack, IT share because that's my share name. Okay, let's hit done here. And then we can go to advanced sharing and then you can look and see in here. We can go ahead and add IT group in here as well. Okay. And then for example, on here we can say, okay, we want full control. We're just gonna make full control, but obviously in the real environment, you, you wanna know what kind of um, permissions they have. Okay, 
So then you go to security for the NTFS permissions, etc. But we have the IT group, and that's what we'll focus on here. Okay, so now we have IT group shares. So now let's go back to the command line. As you see, we only have these shares right now. So if we hit the up arrow, now we should see another share, which is right here. You see that IT share, and it's not over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the Windows 10 machine, which is this is my client machine, and I'm going to log in as Patrick, right? Because I'm one of the users that are assigned to the IT group. Okay, so now we can go ahead and open up File Explorer. And I want to pin that here so we have it. So we go to this computer. See, right now we're going to do this manually, and then we're going to go ahead and create a group policy in order to automate this process. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click, go to Map a Drive, uh, Map a Drive, sorry. And I want to name this whatever. I want to put it the P Drive for Patrick. And then remember, it's going to be WAC WAC DC01 WAC IT space share. That's my share name. And I want to reconnect on sign on. That's fine. And OK. And now we have the P drive and we can see the document here that we're that we're connected to. So say now we're going to go ahead and create doc three. I mean doc two, my bad. Doc two. And then now that's there. Now let's go back onto the server and let's go to File Explorer and see if doc two is there. Boom, it's there. Cool. So that's the manual way to map a network drive to a share. Okay, so now let's let's do this like the easier way so we can automate this process so we don't have to go to the client to right click and map a drive, etc. Okay, so now let's go ahead and disconnect from here. That will disappear. Perfect. So now let's go back to the server and do it the right way. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and create a new group policy object. And let me go back to my Active Directory and IT group. So IT group is in here. So we're going to go apply this to, yeah, that's fine. All right, so now let's go ahead and do this. All right, so groups, New York, groups, and we're going to go ahead and link a group policy to here. And we're going to put map drives, okay? And then map drives, once that's created, and you can also do it at the domain level. It doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's put it at the domain level. Put it. Let's just do that. Okay. Let's just. Uh, it's 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 fine. I'll, I'll leave it here. That's fine. So let's go ahead and right click and edit. Okay. When we edit, then we're gonna have the group policy editor that we can go ahead and edit this policy. And this is to the map drives. So on the users, we're gonna go ahead and go to preferences. And then once this opens, we're going to go to Windows settings. Can make this bring this out a little bit. And then we go to map network drives or drive maps. All right. Sorry, this, this is a little slower because I need to. So you can right click on here, go to new, go to new map drive. And then this is the settings that we're going to set up. So for the action, I want to go ahead and create. The location is going to be, I'm going to actually browse to it. So you can see. So we're going to browse to that location of that. So we're going to go ahead and find now. You know what? Let's go to advance. Yeah, it's, you know, let's just do this. Whack, whack, DC01, whack, IT space share. And that should be fine. And we're going to go ahead and reconnect. Okay. You're going to use, we're going to use, we can use the P drive. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and show this drive and show all drives. All right, so this is this should be good. I'm going to hit apply here. And OK. So now we have this share, this policy created. OK, so now let's go ahead and hit OK. And go ahead and hit OK. It's pretty fine. And now let's go to Active Directory really quick. And in groups, Let's see. Wow, this thing is going to take a second. All right, so we have this group in here. So I'm a part of that group. In theory, we should be able to log in and have that. If not, we're going to go ahead and test it. So you see there's no drive there, right? So then let's go up and open up CMD. Put this side by side somehow. 
and all right, so now we see the open space here, there's no drive. So if we do a GP update, that drive should come up here in theory. Let's see. Okay, let's see if it's just slow. No, it didn't. Interesting. All right, so let's do this. Let's just go here. We wanna go on the users. So we wanna go ahead and link. Uh, I guess my group policy, I excited the whole thing. All right, let's go ahead back into group policy management and go to, oh, did I open it twice? Oh. Okay, so let me go make sure it's under IT users. Okay, so IT users, and then we're gonna go ahead and link an existing group policy. We have the map drives, boom. Okay, that should be perfectly fine. So now let's go ahead and do a GP update here. And let's go back here and let's do this again to see if it now if it updates and apply there you go so now we have our group policy applied and in order to actually see the group policy and i'll show you how to do that in a second obviously it worked because now we see our p drive but we're going to have to run this as an administrator so let's open up C cmd as an administrator Go ahead and hit yes, because I am a domain admin. I assign Patrick to a domain admin rights. So if we do a GP result space dash R, we can see the group policies, group policies that are applied. So we'll give this a second. We can make this bigger and we should see the IT um, map drives, map drives. It's right here. Let's see. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see it. Uh, let's do 24 should be a little better all right map drives you see here and that's pretty much the way you're going to go ahead and map your drives so we can go back to the server now go to group policy and you can just go ahead and you go to map drives um, edit preferences windows map drives and you can go in here and just create as many map drives as you want and that's the way you do it so hopefully you enjoyed the video until next time, have a wonderful day and be safe. Thank you.